The Simplicity 8161 Outlander inspired pattern by American Duchess has been on my must make list for a few years. And when I found this fabric at a thrift store of all places, I thought that it would be a perfect pairing. It is a beautiful silk and linen fabric that I determined from a burn test. It's got a lovely drape, a wonderful hand, um, and the texture is very much befitting for the final look that I am seeking. Now, while I am using materials um, that are historically accurate, the construction methods that I'm using are not. I am opting to use my sewing machine and I didn't do any of the pattern hacks that Lauren, the patterns designer, has available if you want a more historically accurate garment. I will link to her site in which she talks about those down below. Now, the under petticoat I made recently during the Burnley and Trowbridge sew along, and I did create a video for that, and so I will also link that below. But so far, everything is coming together beautifully, and I'm really excited. I just wanted to share a few tips and tricks that I did on the interior lines. So this was made from a sheet that I got at the thrift store, and it's 100% cotton. And the pattern calls for encased boning on the front of the seam and the back center seam. Now, as usual, I'm sewing this somewhat last minute. It's Monday, and the Dallas-Fort Worth Costumers Guild Annual Georgian Picnic is on Saturday, so I didn't have any boning on hand. So what I opted to do is take vintage a bias tape and created my own casing. And as you can see, I've used a kaleidoscope of colors. Uh, they are all scraps from previous projects. And this is kind of a crazy color, but when you see vintage seam binding or bias tape, at estate sales and thrift stores grab it because it's much better quality and it doesn't have polyester aka plastic and I, I try to really commit to reducing my plastic consumption. I do want to acknowledge that I use zip ties for the actual rigid uh, boning per se as you can see here. Um, but by using vintage bias tape, you can create your own casings and it is a happy wink for the world. For this old fashioned picnic, we have chopped turkey and cranberry sandwiches. They are wrapped in parchment paper and tied with twine. We also have some dried meats, cheese, various nuts and dried berries, fresh apples and pears, crackers, cheese, and dried oranges. And while it perhaps seems counterintuitive to take china and silver on a picnic during the Victorian era and even earlier, that very much would have been the style of picnicking that they would have done. Next up, we will share the beautiful table all laid out. 